Hi, we're here with Josh Stabler of Shadow Tech at SHOT Show 2017. Yep. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. You've got some exciting new products for 2017. So let's uh, let's take a look. Sure, sure. Um, one of the uh, the new things that we just came out with, um, we started selling the uh, the PRST carbon fiber tripod. It's uh, it's Norwegian. It's made by Mission Critical Designs, and uh, the two owners are Norwegian snipers in their army, um, and they wound up making a, uh, a carbon fiber tripod to our spec. Um, the main specs are, uh, it weighs 4.1 pounds, it's uh, rated for 40 pounds, um, it's got a few features that I just haven't seen in a lot of tripods, um, and uh, I've been modifying a lot of tripods even from back in the day, um, so this tripod basically comes standard with a lot of those. A big one is it's got a short center column, so I'm able to splay the tripod out to a low sitting or even a high prone without having to like hack off. Uh, my center column at all, but and, that, and that's yeah. exactly what we recommended in yeah, one yeah, of yeah. our tripod videos was exactly. Hacks on but you up. still have yeah. the center column to do those micro adjustments. So if you have to shoot over a bar in a window, or you're shooting through some Constantina wire or whatever, you can still adjust on the fly. Uh, the center column rotates, so if you want to do a direct mount, um, you can do that and use the movement as a uh, kind of a ghetto tripod head. <laughs> and and uh, I, 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 I do a direct mount, and, and I can tell you right now, just the, just the way this works for yeah, rotation yeah. is a real upgrade uh, you know, from the... From you, the you, get, you get a lot of extra yeah. stability. It's not as fluid as a ball head, but definitely more stable. Um, it's Cerakoted OD green. It's got user serviceable uh, cam lever leg locks. So if you've got a leg that when you load your body weight into it, it sinks. Uh, you can just take a little tool, tighten it up, and your uh, tripod leg is good to go. And then the last one is you've got uh, spiked feet, or uh, I guess user swappable spike feet. It comes with rubber feet, but then if you want, you can uh, thread these spikes in there. So if you're shooting off soft ground, that's really good. And the last feature is uh, on the bottom of the center column, you've got this hook, right? So carbon fiber is awesome, but uh, the downside is a heavier tripod is easier to shoot from. This is lightweight, so it's great to carry. So if you want to add that extra weight, you take this hook, you hang your day pack off the bottom of it, and now it's like you're shooting off a 10-pound tripod, even though uh, it's it's not. And, and I, you, maybe you mentioned this earlier, but this is rated at 40 pounds. Yeah, rated at 40 pounds, and it weighs 4.1 pounds. Yeah, so it's a re really great kit. Definitely look it up. Um, and availability of this product? Currently available, for sure. And, and Josh, I couldn't help but notice you've uh, modified your uh, barricade pads. Uh, can you talk yeah, about that? Yeah, so we came with the, we came out earlier this year with a, uh, a I guess a, a different model of our pigskin barricade pad. Um, this one only comes in a six inch length, but something that's different with it is we added this really cool uh, urethane horn. So if you want to jam it into a barricade into the side of like a window sill, you can do that. You can even mount it backwards. So if you want just a really cool ergonomic feel, like a hand stop uh, for your hunting rifle, you can do that. Uh, it attaches the same way, just uh, we, we send it with a couple fuzzy pieces of Velcro. You just slap it on there, slap your barricade pad on there, and you can jam barricades. It uh, kind of goes after the whole theory of hard on soft, so you're still lugging around a sand sock that's attached to your gun and you're uh, good to go. And if you don't want it on your gun, you just peel it right off and slap it on a piece of Velcro on your pack. But and, uh, yeah, and your SS loophole sling, you've, uh, you've modified. Yeah, that a bit. so this is a new sling. It's going to be out here uh, next week or two. But this is the SS loophole sling uh, enhanced. So the only enhanced part is exact same sling as the SS loophole sling, but you've got a little bit of adjustment here up in the front. So if you're going to carry it patrol carry, you can now adjust it VTAC. Try to do this without hitting your guys' mic. But when you sling it up patrol carry, I can now adjust the length from the front as opposed to the uh, sling adjustment being on my back. So if I'm rolling with an AR-10 or some other gas gun, uh, I can still carry it where it feels familiar. You know, that's how I always have. And I can adjust it, you know, like those other two-point adjustable slings. Uh, then I'm, I'm good to go. But besides that, it's just like the, uh, the regular SS loophole sling. And that'll retail for uh, $49.99. So, pretty cool sling. All right, that definitely. Yeah, yep. And now let's talk about an, another interesting uh, piece of kit. So another piece of kit that we're adding, that we're basically working with the PRST tripod is the new Sunway Photo ball head. We're carrying those two. This is the XB52. Um, 
It's got uh, it's rated for 130 pounds, so huge rating. It's got a huge ball joint at 52 millimeters, um, so it pans ultra smooth. The uh, the control knobs are all machined aluminum, um, so you don't have to worry about busting a plastic knob or anything. And uh, a huge feature of this is uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the uh, Arca Swiss style uh, QD plate um, on the that attaches to your saddle uses two bolts, right? And the two bolts mean uh, the QD plate can't twist loose. So if you've ever used those Manfrotto style pistol grip heads, they use that little square puck. Um, they work real good, but over time they'll kind of twist loose on you. If you use the two bolt design, it won't twist loose. Um, it's just a superior option for sure. I mean, I mean, would you say that folks that have perhaps moved away, say from uh, the Manfrotto uh, ball head to a direct mount, might get more stability out of this and might want to reconsider you, using you, you will definitely get more stability out of this um, not just because of the higher load ratings but um, the Sunway photo is a full inch shorter than like a 054 magnesium ball head um, so the shorter you get the more stability you get so you um, get less of that springy stability. yeah yeah and it's really 50 50 some guys either you either love it or hate it for right. direct mounting your hog saddle um, it, it just depends but I'm I'm totally digging the uh, XB52 right now through Sunway Photo, just because it's got unmatched specs, you know, from load rating, the QD plates, it's just a really good combo. And they can buy them uh, through ShadowTech? Yeah, 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 through the Hog Saddle web store. Yeah. So immediately, uh, currently available? Currently available, for sure. And, and we make a lighter weight, uh, or we sell a lighter weight one called the XB44 also, um, which, is, which is really another good option if you're trying to save as much weight as you can. And then, uh, interesting uh, piece of kit for the uh, Kestrel. Yeah, so another new product um, that, that we're manufacturing in-house. This is the ATI Windwrap. Um, it's the only Kestrel-approved um, Kestrel weapons mount that's out there right now. It uses hard-on soft contact, so uh, you don't have to worry about um, any type of recoil or vibration destroying the internals or voiding your warranty. Um, so, so that was huge. We came out with this, and uh, Kestrel immediately hit us up and were like, we dig this because there's a few other products out there that do the hard on hard contact points and uh, they're just not they're not warranty approved so no one wants to crush their six hundred dollar uh, piece of kit uh, you either can attach it to a tripod leg or the center column it don't work too well on this one because the center column is so short um, or what you can do and I don't mean to flag you camera guy but um, you can also mount the Kestrel to uh, your rifle sling so on the fly um, you can uh, get your wind readings and everything and still be on the move. Uh, a big advantage of this is uh, a lot of guys keep their Kestrels like in their cargo pockets or whatever. Uh, you're gonna be running around, it's gonna be a lot warmer in your pocket, so when your target of opportunity presents itself, uh, if you do wanna reconfirm your dope real quick, your dope is gonna be a, as exact as it should because it's gonna be 10, 20 degrees uh, warmer. So you're you know? always keeping it at, at the ambient uh, temperature? Yeah, yeah same, same temp as the, the ammo in your gun. Yeah. Well, excellent. Well, Josh, we wish you the best of luck at Show sure. 2017. We really appreciate you yeah. uh, spending time with our audience. Yeah, thanks Thank for you. stopping by for sure. Thank you.